some people can tray flip or shove it so lightly, while others find it hard just to land those tricks. This time, we are not talking about how to steezy tray flip, instead, especially for those who are having a hard time landing their tray flips or shove it, it is important to understand what makes steezy tray flips possible. Trust me, one of the most vital concepts in skateboarding tricks is there. Above everything, the most important question in this video is, can you possibly scoop your board when your entire body is holding it down? I guess you're already getting the idea. You are watching Why the Trick, and today we are going to study a trick scientifically. You might have this experience that you're so sure that you're scooping properly, but you can't flip your board. You're doing literally everything you can do, putting all the energy of your body to the tail, but it doesn't flip, and you don't understand why, why your board doesn't flip, and why some people can do them so effortlessly. To understand this, let's start from breaking down what it takes to tray flip according to the timeline. So how do you tray flip? Do you scoop? No, let's rewind a bit. This may sound obvious, but first, we have to crouch down and elevate our bodies. The scoop comes only after this sequence. In fact, in this sequence lies the most important key to the lightness of tray flips, that could also help you flip your board a lot more effectively. Now that we know the components, let's also analyze how they are connected to each other in theory. Have you tried crouching down and standing up on a weight scale? The scale goes up and down as you do so. This is because crouching down is virtually the same as dropping an object, in a sense that you let something obey the gravity. By the time the object hits the ground, it gains downward acceleration. Upon impact, both that object and the ground push against each other with the same amount of energy. Since this object is made of a solid material, it instantly bounces back up, unlike human bodies, which is the point. Similar things happen in skateboarding tricks too. As you crouch down, your body gains downward momentum, and when your body reaches a point where you cannot go any lower, your legs would now be pushing down your board. But, since your body is not a solid object, you have to endure the pressure of the downward momentum in order to jump back up. This is one of the reasons why you can't flip your board lightly, and why some people can do steezy tray flips. In other words, they don't lower themselves too much. Doing so reduces the amount of energy they need to endure, eventually making it easier to continue the next movements, which may be scoop or pop, depending on what they are trying to do. But, for the majority of people including me, it's not easy to jump up without crouching down. In fact, even when I try to steezy tray flip, I still want to crouch down to adjust my timing. In that sense, crouching down may have more functions aside from letting us jump. In conclusion so far, crouching down itself is not an evil and we might even have to crouch down to a certain extent. Just try not to crouch down too far so your legs don't have to endure unnecessary pressure. Next, let's also think about the time when we start lifting up our bodies. You guessed it right, this is also not a good time to scoop. Simply put, when we jump, in order to generate upward momentum, we have to push whatever we are standing on down. And if you are standing on your board, your board becomes practically heavier by being oppressed from the top. Now, let's take a look at this 3D model and see what it actually means. This orange arrow is a visualized image of the force that your back foot applies to your board, and the blue one is that of your front foot. And this weight thingy in front is an imaginary weight of your board. Just so you know, this is not accurate or anything. I just wanted to show you the concept of how pushing down your board makes it heavier and when that happens. 
With that said, let's see what happens when I start the simulation. And this is how they work. Are you getting the idea? Let's break it down step by step. Number 1. Even when you are standing on the ground still, you are naturally pushing down the ground. This is because you have to keep your weight in the middle of the air while the gravity of this planet is pulling you closer. Number 2. When you start crouching down, that force decreases. This is because while your weight is falling down toward the ground, you are practically free falling. Which means, while crouching down, you don't have to fight the gravity by pushing down the ground. And number 3. When your weight reaches a point where it cannot go any lower, your legs would now be pushing down the ground even harder compared to when you were standing still, due to the acceleration you gained while falling toward the ground. And number 4. Finally, when you try to jump back up into the air, you have to extend your legs while pushing down the board, which makes it virtually heavier. <laughs> so, is anyone still awake? Now obviously, while trying to generate upward momentum is also not a good time to scoop. And in fact, what's even worse is when you try to crouch down and jump up all too quickly. When you crouch down without slowing down your momentum to fall by completely obeying the gravity and try to jump all of a sudden, the amount of energy you need to generate becomes significantly bigger. Imagine, when your body falls down toward the ground, your legs have to absorb the energy created by the downward acceleration. While doing so, your legs naturally have to push the board down. Plus, when you try to jump up at the same time as your legs absorb such momentum, your legs need to push down the ground even harder. So if you think you can't tray flip, shove it, or any kind of trick that requires scooping, come back to this concept and ask yourself, are you not trying to scoop your board while at the same time you are holding it down? That said, when do I scoop after all? That is when your body already has momentum to go up. With your body going up, there is practically nothing that is holding your board anymore. And the only thing you have to deal with after that will be the weight of your board. With those theories in mind, let me also give you some important tips. Number 1. Weight. Hold your movement after crouching down. When you crouch down, you gain downward acceleration, and your legs have to absorb it. Just try to hold your motion for a moment, only the slightest second will do. By doing this, that downward acceleration disappears without having to do anything, and this will make it easier to jump back up. I know this can be difficult though. When you can't land your tricks, you get overheated, forget everything about this video, and start doing tricks really fast. Which is just natural, I think. But especially when something doesn't work, relax, let yourself and your board take a breath. Tip number 2. Lift up and scoop. After crouching down and holding your movement, you're ready to jump up. To lift up your body once again, you need to push down according to the physics. And when you apply force downward, your board virtually becomes heavier, making it difficult for you to scoop it. So try to separate elevating yourself up and scooping. Make sure that you start scooping after feeling your body is going up. That is all for this episode. Wow, thank you a lot for so many likes and views. As always, you can browse and control the 3D models you saw in this video from my website. There is a link in the description, so please make a good use of it. Aside from that, if you have any opinion, recommendation or request, please leave them in the comment section below. I think I'll be talking about Pop Shavits or Frontside Pop Shavits next time. 
So let's see you in the next videos. Until next time.